Good evening, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. Art Franklin has the night off. We begin with a Homewood community mourning the deaths of a young couple killed in flash flooding Wednesday night. The Shelby County coroner confirmed that Latin Hill and Miles Butler were found in a submerged vehicle Thursday morning. CBS 42's Marina Bach is outside the YMCA Youth Center where Miles Butler worked. Marina. Yeah, Sherry, like you said, we spoke with some of Miles' co-workers here at the Y, as well as some of his teachers over in Homewood. They share with us that he was a one-of-a-kind guy that, of course, lit up any room that he walked in with with this big smile. And, of course, he always went above and beyond for everyone around him. But this tragic incident happened on Wednesday night during flooding in Hoover when heavy rains and flash flooding caused Butler and Hill's car to be picked up and pinned against a guardrail, trapping the pair inside. First responders were able to get were not able to get to the vehicle because of its position in the rushing water. Crews spent hours searching but were unable to locate the car until early Thursday morning. Now here we are on Friday and Miles' former basketball coach in the YMCA where he worked are remembering this young man and the lasting impact that he made on their lives. Always happy-go-lucky and if you wanted to name something about him you would probably just say he's kind of the ultimate servant. He would do whatever was needed uh, to help out. Miles had an opportunity to live in his purpose. He was doing the work that God put him here to do, and that was to live, to serve, and help other people every single day. Butler and Hill also leave behind a young daughter. Community members are rallying around their families, and they have set up a GoFundMe page for them. They're raising funds for funeral expenses as well as support for that young daughter. We'll have a link on our website, cbs42news.com, where you can find that GoFundMe page if you would like to donate. Reporting live in Birmingham, Marina Bach, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.